Hello, YouTube. I'm back. And I did a little tool haul. I'm going to do a little unboxing. Um, I opened these already. Uh, I had to get some safety glasses because I got something in my eye the other day. When I was working, it was stuck in my eye for two days. So I bought some three cheap 3M glasses. Then I bought some of these GRK 6-inch and 8-inch lag bolts. Because um, I'm going to do a review, another tool review of my, uh, I don't know, um, some of my impact drivers and drills. And see what ones could drive these screws and what ones can't. So, and I got some spider, some spider bits. The stingers. I'm not how sure how good these are. I know their sawzall blades suck, but these are at Lowe's. 12001 stinger. Uh, they look they look they look halfway decent and you're supposed to be able to go through uh wood with nails, plastic, PVC, plywood, MDF laminate and it's got a speed hex so what i gotta do is i gotta get the adapter that chucks i mean you could use them in the drill but i want the drill adapter that these uh that these clip right into and it says up to 20 times faster than conventional center point bits up to 10 times more holes per Chars and conventional bits, but we'll see. I know they're saw blades, the yellow spider um, sawzall blades, they're not that great. So, hopefully, these are a lot better. I see the pe few people use these and they say they're good. Okay, that's that's the little stuff. And I got a set of cheap Ryobi bits because I got a Makita, the LXT 18 volt brushless router and there's the number of that so i just bought these cheap uh straight cutting router bits because i gotta build a door frame i gotta custom build a door frame so i gotta mortar out for the hinges and i don't want to be over there with a hammer and chisel so this way makes it easy put the big put this big straight bit in the router and these are Ryobi bits, but they feel pretty sharp. These are $21, 21-something $21 plus tax. And for one fruit bit, a fruit bit, one of them of this size was like $30. So I'm not, I mean, this is a job I'm doing for somebody, so I'm not going to spend $30 on one bit. When I can get five of these. And they're going to, you know, it's only a little cordless um, router. This is a brushless too, by the way. Cordless brushless. And I actually did unbox this already on the job. I, I, I unboxed this on the job today and I actually tested it out on a, um, traced out a hinge and cut it on a 2x4 and the thing worked awesome on a 3.0 on a 3 amp hour battery so it's got a micro adjusting uh, thing here you can't adjust the adjustment though so I mean you might as well just do it by your hand but and it's got the little button here for the uh for the, and it's got a detent in the chuck or the anvil, whatever you want to call it. So I already tested the bits. And it comes with uh, all the tools. Came with all the tools and everything, but I'll just show you. You unlock it here first.
as you can hear it, it adjusts to the, to what you, you want it. Variable speed. And you can, you can either shut it off by the lock unlock button or by the power button. But when you shut it off with the unlock button, it shuts the, as you can see, it's got a light there. The unlock and lock button will shut. So once you shut it off by there, as you see, the power button's locked. So I guess it's a safety feature. So if it's in your bag or you had the battery on it, you, you got to hit... You got to hit both buttons to turn it on and off. Turn it on. You can hit anybody button to turn it off. But as you can see, that's only a 3 amp hour battery there, guys. And this thing is pretty good. I like it a lot. And it came with, the, of course, the wrenches, a, a, a guide. It has a little guide and a little bushing couple of little guides on there and it has two wrenches but you don't really need that wrench they give you it anyway but this is the wrench this is the wrench for the uh, to chuck in the bits and then it comes with it also came with a nice a nice uh God, you clamp on there. You put this on. You put this on there. And it's a nice little guide. It goes on this way. I can see already. I don't even have to read the book. You loosen up this. You loosen up this bolt right here. This screw. Your attachment slides in there like so. Oh, wrong way. It goes it goes this way all right so you slide that in. oh there's gotta make sure you get the washer there's a lock there's a lock washer under there but there you go that's an edge guide as you can see there it is with the edge guide and then you see here let me move this camera back a little bit if you could see that there On, it'll ride right across the edge of something and it of course it adjusts you loosen this up here and it adjusts for depth so I mean that's pretty cool I know other ones have different I'm sure this one does too I might get the plunge base because I know other ones have a plunge uh, base with their tools. So, that's the next thing I'll buy for that. It's the, um, I'll get the plunge base for that eventually. Okay, and then I got a Craftsman 1000 Lumen multi-powered LED. You can run this off of AA batteries, which... I'm going to use, but it's only 400 lumens on AA batteries. It's a thousand lumens because I read the book. It says a thousand lumens on it, but it's a thousand lumens plugged into AC. And I think it's a thousand lumens plugged into a 12 volt. So let's see here. So you get a nice long, this thing's got to be 25, 30 feet long. This cord I don't want to unravel it but that is a long cord so you could plug this in take it camping whatever if you're out if you're working on your car or something stuck on the side of the road you plug this into your lighter you plug it into your light and it's a pretty long um, cord and I'll plug this in here I have a plug right here And there you go. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Okay, I'm blind. So, here is 
where you put batteries. All right, so I'm gonna plug the cord. Unplug the cord. So let's see if I have three. Let's see if I got three AA batteries. I know I do. Are these triple A's or double A's? I can't even see now. Freaking blind. No, I had some. I don't even know. I might not be able to use this because I think I only have. Yeah, these are triple A's. I don't have those double A batteries down here. Those batteries are no good. I probably do got double A batteries. Oh, wait, I got double A batteries. I literally have, I have a ton, I have a ton of, I have a whole, I have a whole bunch of these kind of lights. As you can see, here's a Husky one. This one's only like three or 400 lumens, but this don't have that many LEDs. This thing's got a whole bunch, five, 10, 15, there's 15 LEDs in this one. And this one only has, I don't know. It has quite a few, but they're little tiny round ones. All right, so. And here, these are double A's. And the thing about this is, this Husky one takes six double A's. The Crash one only takes three. These are pretty good batteries, too, because since I put them in there, I barely used that Husky light. This Husky light, I'm pretty sure... Almost positive. I'm not sure now. I thought this had a plug on it. I don't think it does though. Okay, so anyways. I'm not even gonna put the back on this. Because I actually have rechargeable energizer batteries that I'm gonna use with this. Yeah, see? <laughs> it's Definitely, the batteries aren't, these batteries aren't that great, as you can see, this thing, yeah, because I, I, I plugged this into a 12 volt, I actually did plug this into the car, and it was pretty freaking bright, so these batteries are not, these batteries aren't that great, They're probably like halfway dead, because I think this Husky light, also, it's pretty bright. And I haven't, I think the batteries are just going dead in this because I had it sitting in my toolbox for so long. Let's see if these batteries make a difference. But I've had that Husky light sitting in my tool bag for the longest time. So these batteries, yeah. It's the batteries. These batteries kind of suck. So when I put the, I got like, I think three, I got 3000 milliamp uh, rechargeable batteries. These freaking things are only like, I don't even know, 1500 or whatever. But I'll put my 3000 milliamp rechargeable double A's I got in here and this thing will be super bright but mostly I'm gonna use it with the cord unless you know unless I have to use it with batteries but like I said I got this one that's pretty bright I have this little one that one's pretty bright oh this one's got a this one's got a few uh, settings on it. High, medium, low. Then I have another. I actually have another Craftsman one. I have the Craftsman. Oh, it's right here. This is awesome right here. Look at how bright that is. So this is a Craftsman. As you can see. This is another Craftsman 
But this one comes with a charger, as you can see on the back right here. This one, you could plug it. You could charge something off of this with the USB, or you could, uh, and you can see that's down, that's down one, that's three bars right there. But this thing is wicked bright. I forget how many lumens this one is. I thought this one was up there like 600 lumens, they said. This little craftsman one, but it's got a nice handle. You could set this up all different types of ways. So, I got to have a lot of lights because I do a lot of work in basements, whether I'm doing like plumbing jobs or if I'm wiring up electrical stuff. I have to shut the power off, of course. I'm in a lot of attics running wires and stuff and I have to shut power off so that's why I have so many of these freaking lights because you know battery powered ones they're good to have but they die out pretty quick so for, for the most part this craftsman one that craftsman one I just showed you though that rechargeable craftsman one that one's really good that thing will stay lit on low, on the second brightness uh, of that, the lower brightness before it flashes. That thing will run for about a couple of hours on a charge. It'll go, it'll probably run for about an hour, a little more than an hour, and it starts getting dim on a single charge that other craftsman one. So. I don't know how good this is gonna do. Like I said, I got the I got I got three thousand uh milliamp batteries. So I'm gonna use those with the uh, with this. Let's see how they work. But and if you look at this, it's got the uh, holes right here so you could actually buy us you could actually buy the stand for this and put the put a couple of these which i'm probably going to do i might i think i'm going to buy another one of these with the stand and i'm going to hook these up to a stand to a stand to the stand so i could unbolt it and put it on the stand if I need to. which i do have a set of lights if you look back in my other video, I have a set of lights also on the stand. They're only cheap H HDX ones from Home Depot. But I do have a set. I got them on a job. I'm working on now. Um, but yeah, that's my little short video, guys, of a little tool haul. I bought some other stuff, too, the other day. Well, I did the... Uh, I did a little unboxing of my DeWalt tool the other day and tested that. Oh, another thing I bought. I never did a I never did a review or anything, but I did get the Craftsman uh laser. As you can see. It's a red laser, but as you can see, this is just holding it in my hand. And it's it's a self it's self-leveling as you can see it moves around but it's, it's really not it's really not bad if it's if it's off level you see it'll start flashing like that and i'm just holding this in my hand and this will also you could t this has a magnet on it so you could actually Stick it on something like that. I had to put up a drop ceiling. And let me tell you, this thing saved my life. <laughs> Even though a lot of people say, oh, the green leech is better. Believe me. That thing, that, that, this crass one with the red laser. This one worked awesome. This was like 60 bucks, I think. I paid for, and as you can see, the magnet, look at, look at how strong that magnet is. I can, I, I can move my whole, these freaking magnets are super strong. And it has, uh, 
it has a screw. You could put a drywall screw in the wall and hang it off a drywall screw. But you could unscrew this part here, as you can see. And you could mount this to a tripod too. Uh, where is I have a little, I don't know if it'll mount to this one. Oh yeah, it does. See, here's my little gorilla type. Well, actually it's a Joby one. But as you can see, you can put it on a little, any little tripod. It'll bolt right to it. It screws right to the tripods. So. And I have tons of tri I have tripods here. I have, a, I have a whole bunch of friggin. I have a whole bunch of tripods. For when I'm doing my videos and stuff. Oh, this, I don't think it fits on this one. Oh, yeah, it does. There you go. It's fits on that fits on that tripod too. This is a, this is a nice tripod right here. This little Kodak one. Because all you do is you just pull the freaking legs out like that. And it's a four foot. As you can see. Oh, I didn't pull that one out all the way. And as you can see, oh, I didn't pull that one out all the way. As you can see there, that's a friggin' turns into a four foot. Let me stabilize. It turns into a four foot uh tripod. My phone's on a four foot tri cheap tripod right now. That's why I'm filming this. But that's that. So okay, all the guys. A lot of people, you know. You got your diehard Milwaukee guys. A lot of people knock the craftsmen, the new craftsmen stuff and say, ah, oh, it's all made in China and da 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 da. It's no good. Listen. I've been using all the craftsmen stuff for since they came out on those. This I bought. This I bought. And you guys seen my videos. Of course, my letters are silver now because they wore off, and I took a sh and I took a sharpie marker and just did my crafting letters silver. They used to be white like that. But this is a year going, and you you could see I had uh, you could see there's paint on this. It's all beat up, scratched up. I've been using this one for a year now. But this one got an electric brake. Okay, not too many impact drivers have the brakes. This one does. A year, a year, that craftsman. And first, 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 uh, within the first month I got that craftsman brushless, I put down. Seven hundred and eighty square feet of tile board with that thing, and I literally put down about I, I can't say exactly somewhere between thirty five hundred to thirty eight hundred or more uh, of these right of these right here, inch and five eighths tile board screws. With that craftsman right there, and it, that that craftsman's the same exact thing, if not better. And I'm telling you, it's better. I don't care if you believe me or not. That craftsman's better than the better than the Dewalt eight eight seven. That thing blows the Dewalt eight eight seven away. It's good. I love that craftsman impact. Of course, I got the fuel. Uh, surge now I've been using a lot and again <laughs> I got I got freaking all kinds of impact drivers and drills everywhere I got a couple there so I got Porter cable ones that Porter cable one's a beast too that Porter cable right there brushed that thing's a freaking monster that thing could keep up what 
the Watts, Milwaukee's, everything. I don't, people people say they're garbage. They're not. Mine's not garbage. Here's my here's my fuel surge. Oh, the, I got it on. There's speed three. Oh, this, I guess they all do. I guess they. I guess they do all got to break. This one breaks too. That craftsman stops quicker though. What? Well, yeah, you guys seen all these. My Makita, my other Makita one. These are the ones I've been using on the jobs the most. This Makita one, it doesn't got a speed control or nothing. But this one hits pretty hard. I love it. And when I don't want to make a ton of noise... I've been using my surge, and this thing has been great. So, and then, of course, I got another, as you guys know, I got a rigid, I got a three-year-old rigid one up there, and my other, this one, this one is, this one is about seven or eight years, it might be older than that. And this thing still goes, but still got it's still got power. I think there's something stuck in the um in the motor of this one. I don't know. I gotta take I gotta take that apart one day and and clean it out. But I use them all. Let me tell you, on jobs, heavy duty. Every, every one I got, my Milwaukee ones, that the Craftsman one right there. Uh, before I got all those, I was using that Porter cable. This one. <laughs> this one is, let me tell you. If you get the Walt Porter cable, or you get Craftsman, basically you're getting all... You're getting about the same. Brush or brushless, they're all it's about the same quality. This thing will keep up with a brush. This thing will keep up with a brushless because this, this does just as much work as that does. Let me tell you. I have a video. If you guys want to look up the video, all my uh, comparison. It's it's the video a comparison of all my impact drivers. I ran that Porter cable up against this Craftsman, and I was shocked. Oh, that's another thing I picked up, too, because <laughs> I needed some. I think these are $12 at Lowe's, guys, but there is 500, 4-inch, 6-inch, 8-inch um, wire ties. And different thicknesses of them too. So not bad. 500 of them. For $12. And there's green, brown, clear, white, red. So I always need wire ties. Oh, another thing I got the other day. I think I said this in my other video. I picked up this the other day at Lowe's. I forgot how much I paid for this. Like 15 or 20 bucks. But this thing has 260 of the Craig uh, screws. I don't want to dump. I'm trying to be careful here. But you get the idea. There's all, of, all the different kinds. Most of the different kinds they have are in there. Because I have the, uh... I have the Craig. I have the Craig, uh... And I did a video of this. When I built some... I have the little... The Craig pocket hole. And that's got 40 more screws in there. 
well, less less than 40 now because I did a, I did a couple of things with this already. But yeah, I made that little shelf right there. I made that little shelf right there, and I made that bigger shelf up there with that pocket hole, Jake. And it worked really. Oh, and I and I did that picture frame. I did that picture frame, the back of it with the with the jig too. So, all right, I'm gonna end my video here, guys. That was my little unboxing. I don't want this to go into two videos. So, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I don't know. Very. Oh, tomorrow I'm gonna be doing my Milwaukee saw uh, brushless circular saw. I'm going to pick that up tomorrow morning. I'm getting up early in the morning to get to Home Depot. To get that saw. So tomorrow after work, I'll be unboxing the Milwaukee brushless saw and the battery and rapid charger setup. But thanks for watching. And I'll put up my video tomorrow. Take it easy.